Hello and welcome to DataLine. It's an open source project I started to allow us to query databases and data files with natural language. One of the core features it offers is maximizing data security by making sure that none of your data leaves your local machine. And this works by sending the data structure only, which allows us to generate queries based on it. And this focus on data security, I think, makes it easier to use in business contexts. So let's start by selecting a connection. We have some sample data sets. We we'll start with the Netflix and ask for um, which directors have the most movies. And we can see that detected tables were Netflix shows. Um, we can see an SQL query here and the results in a table format. We can also edit the query re-execute it and we can also save it if we want to or copy it somewhere else. Um, we can rename this to Netflix shows. So let's ask us some other questions like what countries have the most shows? We can see that the US tops the chart here. Let's ask it a more complex question like what are the most recent horror shows in the US? So here it should be able to translate US into the correct um, filter, which is United States here, and it should also look for horror inside the Netflix shows. Let's jump into another data set, which is a bit more complicated, like the DVD rental data set. So we have some example template questions so what questions can I ask about this data set? We see here the list of tables. So we have a lot of tables in this one. And we can start uh, experimenting to see complex group buys. So let's ask for which movies are the most rented. So these are dummy movies, you won't relate to any of them, but we can see that it correctly joins on multiple tables and groups by. Um, show me the number of rentals per customer. This should be even more complicated. And we can see that it correctly groups by the first and last name of a customer to count the rentals. So let's change this to DVD rentals. Now let's look at the stored data set. You can see here that we don't have results, we don't have tables, and the tables also disappeared from here. This is because we don't store results at all. And what we do store, we store locally as well. So here you can just rerun this query to get the results. So I could also rerun this top five themes by number of sets in them and we see the theme names. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this. And it's open source, so you can check it out. Currently it's dockerized, that's the way of deploying it. Um, let me know if you have any questions and feel free to post stuff and GitHub issues and discussions as well.